Let's talk about start and stop signals. So you're thinking about start and stop signals when you're driving with your parents. You come up to a traffic light, and if it's red, you know that means to stop. If it's green, you know that means to go. That's an example of start and stop signal. In PE, we have start signals to tell you when to start playing the game. We have stop signals to let you know when the activity is over or if I need to tell you some different instructions. The start signals that we use, first one is when the music starts. When we're using a timer, there will be a bell that you'll hear. And if me or Coach Clap say go. When you hear those three signals, that means it's time to start the activity. Go. For the stop signals, the three that we use is if Coach Clap or I say stop, when the music stops, or when we're using the timer and you hear a buzzer. Activity completed. Stop. A lot of times you're going to hear the buzzer and the music stop at the same time and so that's two stop signals right there that you'll be able to hear. When you hear a stop signal, that means to stop immediately. You can take a knee or have a seat, put whatever equipment you have in your hands, put it on the ground, and you want to make sure not to keep playing and throw a ball, because if you accidentally throw that ball and it hits somebody in the head, they're not gonna be happy about it. All the equipment goes down on the ground and you stop immediately. Stop. <laughs> 